Hello mga Mactusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, i-guide ko kayo kung paano ba natin sasagutan ang learning task number 3, week 7 ng inyong mga muzul. Okay? Wherein ito ay tungkol sa ating distance or distance formula. Pero bago ko simulan ang video, video na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na yan na dyan, sorry, ang like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like and na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell? Kung okay na, may isa pa akong healing. Pag meron dyang dumaan na hindi ko boses, wag mo nang i-skip ha. Sige na, love love yan. Okay, dahil dyan, simulan na natin. Okay, for learning task number 3, find the distance between the two given points. Okay, so hahanapin natin yung distance. Pero para ma-solve natin yun, dapat alam nyo muna yung distance formula. Ano ba yung distance formula? We have here D, and then you have the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1, and then you square it plus you have y sub 2 minus y sub 1, and then you square it. Okay, so ito yung distance sa formula natin. Tandaan ha, pero ano ba yung x sub 2, x sub 1, y sub 2, y sub 1 na yan? Itong point natin, na una nating point, ito yung tinatawag nating x sub 1, ito naman yung y sub 1. Ito yung x sub 2 y sub 2. O, dapat alam nyo yan ha, kasi yan ngayon yung isa-substitute natin dito. So, we get the square root, okay? Ano ba ang x sub 2 natin? We have here negative 2. Okay, minus your x sub 1 is also negative 2. Okay, and then yung, sum, ah, yung difference nyan, i-square mo. Plus, ano yung y sub 2 mo? 16. Okay, minus you have 8. And then, yung answer din dyan is square mo. So, we have this one. Negative 2 minus negative 2. Alam nyo naman yung procedure natin kapag nagsasubtract, di ba? We are doing KCC. Anong ibig kong sabihin? If we have here negative 2 minus negative 2, you keep this one, you change this one, and then you change this one. So, we have negative 2 Keep lang siya. This will become positive kasi change siya. And then, this will become positive also kasi change din siya. So, we have here negative 2 plus positive 2. Dahil magkaiba sila ng sign, hindi sila pwedeng i-add. I-minus mo sila. So, eto magiging 0. So, this one is 0 squared plus, oh, what is 16 minus 8? You have there, how many? 8, okay? And then you square it. Okay, now what is 0 squared? 0 squared is simply 0. Plus, oh, what is 8 squared? 64. Oh, what is 0 plus 64? You have the square root of 64. Now, what is the square root of 64? Anong number na kapag minultiply mo sa sarili niya, 64 ang lalabas. You have 8. Which means the distance between M and N is 8. Or pwede mo rin siyang isulat as M, N is equal to 8. Okay, so the distance between M and N is 8. So, ayan lang yun. Ganun lang siya. Kaya lang, dapat maingat kayo sa mga signs ha. Dapat na master nyo ang integers. Operations on integers. Okay, sige nga. Tingnan nga natin itong number 2. What is the distance between H and G? Okay? So, katulad ng sinasabi ko kanina, you still have to write the formula ha, para guided kayo. Tuwing may formula, bago mag-solve yun muna yung isusulat. Okay? So, we have here X sub 2 minus X sub 1. You have to square the difference. And then plus so Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. 
and still you have to square it, okay? So, this is our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Magandang nililabel nyo rin, ha? Para hindi kayo mahirap, mahirapan pang mag-substitute. Okay, so we have here x sub 2, that is a 7, minus, we have here negative 8, okay? And then, you have to square the difference. Plus, your y sub 2 is a 4, minus a 4, and then squared. Okay, so paano ba natin ito gagawin? Ito na naman tayo ha, yung rule ng ating subtraction of integers. We have to have 7 minus negative 8. Ipakita ko lang dito ha, kagaya ng kanina, you have to do KCC. Kasi ang ano natin kung... Maaalala nyo yung change the sign of the subtrahend and then proceed to addition. Kesa iniisip yun, you just have to do KCC. Keep this one, change this one, and then change this one. So, you will have here 7 plus 8 and that is 15. Okay, so you will have here 15 squared. Okay, plus, oh, what is 4 minus 4? That is 0. And then, you have to square it. O, baka nagtataka, ma'am, dito nag-KCC ka. Bakit dito? Hindi ka nag-KCC. O, let's see. 4 minus 4. Sa lahat, applicable yun, ha? So, we have to keep, we have to change, and then change. Ito, iti-change ko. Ito, positive, magiging negative. Now, what is a 4 plus negative 4? Dahil magkaiba sila ng sign, hindi natin pwedeng i-add. So, i-minus natin. Pag minus natin yan, that is 0. Kasi 4 minus 4 is 0. Kaya, siya naging 0, ha? So, what is now 15 squared? So, 15 times 15, 5 times 5 is 25, carry 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 you have 7. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1. We have 5, we have 12, carry 1, and then we have 225. Excuse me. Okay, so we have the square root of 225. Since nakita naman natin dito na yung 15, pag minultiply mo sa sarili niya, ay 225, then we can say that the square root of 225 is 15. So, our distance is equal to 15. Or, the distance between HG or segment HG is equal to 15. Ayan na. O, diba? Ang dali lang ng ano, distance formula. Kasi may formula na kayo. Kaya madali na lang siya. Ang kailangan nyo na lang yung pag-apply uh, ng rule ng integers. Kasi minsan alam yung procedure, pero pag nag-add na ng mga negative, ay nako, nasisira na kayo. E master nyo yun, ha? Okay, paano ito? Oh, kung 0, 0 ito. Sige, let's try. Baka kakaiba ito. So, again, ang formula natin, isulat na, ha? We have your x sub 2 minus x sub 1. You have to square it plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1, and then naka-square ulit siya. So, we have here x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, ang x sub 2 ko ay 5 minus 0. And then, yung difference dapat naka-square. Plus, we have here y sub 2 is 7 minus 0. And then, you square it. What is now 5 minus 0? That's a 5. And then, yung 5 kailangan naka-square. Okay, plus 7 minus 0 is still 7. And then, you square it. Okay, 5 times 5 is 25. Plus, a 7 times 7 is a 49. Oh, what is now the sum of 25 plus a 49? Okay, let's add. This is 14, carry 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. You have the square root of 74. Okay, dahil wala, hindi naman to perfect square, okay na na ito yung sagot ninyo, ha? Ito na yung distance nyo. So, our distance is this one or the distance between M and N is Square root of 74. Ayan na. Ngayon, an mga anak, kung sa inyo masisimplify, isimplify ninyo ha. Pero dito kasi hindi na siya masisimplify. Kaya, eto na yung magiging sagot ko. Now, pwede naman din decimal yung maging sagot nyo. Kunin nyo yung square root ng 74. Pwede din naman siya ha. O, sige nga, kunin natin. Teka, kuha ko ng calculator. Okay, ipakita ko sa inyo. 
Pwede naman din kasi yung sagot na ganun. Ah, saan ang square root? Ito ba? Square root ng 74 ay ay wait, paano ba? Teka, teka. 74 square root. O, oh, ayan. That is 8. Round off na lang, ha? Or we have 8 point ano yun? 8.60. Ayan. O, itanong nyo sa teacher nyo kung okay lang ba na uh, uh, ano to? Naka-radical sign or naka-decimal siya. Pero okay din naman na decimal number yung maging answer ninyo. Okay, dahil okay na tayo yung number 4 and number 5. Kayang-kaya nyo na yan. Basta sundin nyo lang yung procedure na to, ha? Pero, sana yung hinihiling ko sa tuwing matatapos yung panoorin ng video na ito, mag-comment kayo dyan, ha? Help me up this video. Video. Kailangan ko yung mga comments nyo para makita din naman ng ibang struggling student, uh, sya, sya, sya. para makita din naman ng iba pang struggling students din yung guide na ito at makatulong din naman sa kanila. O di ba kaysa mangopia sila, at least natutunan nila yung procedure at kaya na nilang gawin ng sila lang. Okay? So, mag-comment na ha? And laging tatandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!